Hello my lovelies and uh, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd have like a little christmas s kind of theme going on today. Um, so I've got my little fireplace on the television <laughs> because we obviously don't have a real fire. Got my Christmas tree behind me in the stocking. Um, and so today I'm going to be doing an assumptions and Q&A style video. I asked over on my Instagram if any of you wanted to ask me anything and also what do you assume about me? What do you think about me? Ask me absolutely anything and um, tell me what you assume about me. So I'll put my Instagram here, so it should be at the bottom here if you want to go over to my Instagram because that's where I do my daily Instagram stories and my posts over there. Um, and if I ever have another Q&A, then you can always ask me a question through that. So without further ado, let's get going. Should I start with my assumptions or Q&A first? Uh, okay, we'll start with the assumptions. Okay, starting with the assumptions. Okay, so the first assumption, someone put, you seem happy and upbeat all the time. Right, okay, this is quite a funny one because I am actually happy and upbeat most of the time, but I do get very anxious and I actually suffer with anxiety this year. It's been really, really bad. Um, I just, I get anxious about something that could be so small and then I get it like a knot in my stomach, but no one will ever know about it. So if I was feeling anxious that morning, um, I've obviously got to get up, I've got to go to work and I'd go into work and be like, hi guys, how are you all today? They'd never know. Do you know what I mean? Um, but inside I'd be thinking, oh my gosh, I feel awful. I remember one day I was feeling so anxious. I was crying in the bathroom, do you know that way? And I was just thinking, how the heck am I gonna get on with today? So yeah, I do actually get really anxious about some things, but no one else would ever see it. It's just like, I'm just, I've got my, this in my face. How are you? You know, a smile and that's, that's me. So yeah, I do, I do seem happy and upbeat all the time and genuine, gen, Generally, I am a very happy and upbeat person, but don't be fooled, I do get anxious and nervous about things like every single person, and sometimes things do get a bit too much. So yeah, that's my answer to my first assumption. Assumption number two is you're very hyper. No, I'm, well, I don't know actually. I, I am quite a ha happy, kind of like jumpy about person, but I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm hyper, no. I wouldn't say I'm hyper. Um, you don't seem like, uh, okay, so I don't want to say a swear, but I'll maybe. You don't seem like a bitchy type of girl, you seem lovely. Um, thank you very much. No, I don't really like being horrible about other people. I just like to be, um, yeah, I just, I don't like being horrible about other people. I just like to be treated the way I would treat someone else. You know what I mean? Um, you seem to be down to earth, honest, and someone who always has a smile on their face. Thank you very much. I genuinely, I think I'm quite down to earth. Like, I don't buy full price clothes in the shops. So not like not that you're not down to earth if you do that, but you know what I mean. I'm not one that wants the best of everything. I'm just yeah. I'll just I like my charity shops and Primark and um, things with a reduced label on it. Let's just put it like that. So yeah, no, I do think I would say I'm quite down to earth. Um, that you like to that you like to talk. I think you'll be a fab friend. Oh my goodness! Thank you for saying I'd be a fab friend. But I am the biggest chat box ever. If we went out for dinner or something like that, you'd be like, "Carry it. Can I just get my word in? Can I get my word in?" Because I just like last night um, at work, um, they were doing like the final announcements so that it was like the shop was shutting. And to be fair, it should have been me doing it because I was next to the the announcement thing, Tanoi, tan and I was just like serving these girls. I was just like, "Yay!" And I was chatting away, and then I thought. Did I just hear the announcement or am I just imagining it? And I said to my colleague, I was like, did you do the announcement just then? And she was like, yes, Harry, I did the announcement, but you were too busy chatting. Do you get what I mean? I am the biggest chatterbox ever. That I am a warrior, that someone's put, they assume that I'm a warrior. I am a big warrior, like there's no denying that. Honestly, I, something so small could be in my head. Like you could say something, I could say something or someone could say something to me. And then I start thinking, oh, did they mean that? Um, I don't know, and then I start thinking over a bit in my head, not even just that, like just in general things, I start worrying about things. Um, sorry guys, I'm sniffing, because I'm just not well again, I keep catching the cold, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I think I would say I'm quite a worrier because I, I'm constantly like, I, I overthink things. Yeah, I would say I'm a bit of a worrier. You are happy in your relationship and your job, I definitely am. I'm happy living with Lou, we've lived together a year now, because it literally has been a year since, it was last, last December that I, he asked me to move in, and then it was officially January when all my stuff came in. But um, yeah, I would say I'm quite happy in my, in my relationship and in my job. Yeah, I'm quite happy and content, yeah. I'm quite happy. Always assumed I worked in clothes shop because of all the clothes I own. That is hilarious. People, a lot of people actually assume that I do work in a clothes shop, which if I lived in a city, I no doubt would work in a clothes shop. I probably wouldn't be working in um, a supermarket, but 
as I said, I live in a beautiful place. It's mountains all around me. There's freedom everywhere. You know what I mean? You don't have, nothing really bad happens here. It's quite peaceful. You know what I mean? So you can't have everything in life. Um, yeah, I do work in a supermarket as a supervisor. Um, but yeah, what, what can you do? Do you know what I mean? You can't have everything. I live in a beautiful place. So yeah, I do work in a supermarket, not a clothes shop. But I would love to work in a clothes shop. Oh my gosh, I'd be in my element. So that's the rest of the, the rest, what am I talking about? That's the assumptions that I sort of chose out of a few. So now we're gonna go on to the Q and A questions. So the first one is, you have a really nice figure, how do you keep your weight down? That's a really interesting one, because that's one thing I've actually struggled with in, in life is my weight. I remember I was about 12 years old and I remember weighing myself and thinking, whoa, this is really bad. I'm, I'm too heavy and for about six months I really battled actually with my weight it was, it was I was always thinking I was big I was overweight um, I was sort of not eating as much as I should have been because I was thinking this is I'm overweight and you shouldn't be thinking that at 12 years old you know what I mean so I've always struggled with my weight and even when I got to about 16 I was always very slim um, yeah I was always very slim and then as I've got older I'm totally fine now I just eat whatever I want when I want to eat um, but sometimes I'll start calorie counting. Um, every, I go through phases. So some like at the moment, I'm eating what the heck I want to eat. I'll eat cheese, I'll eat biscuits, I'll eat flipping pizza at 11 o'clock at night. Do you know what I mean? I'll eat anything. But I do go through phases where I'm like, right, calorie counting, calorie counting. And like, if I'm going on holiday, I've got to be careful I don't get so addicted to calorie counting because then I end up just in a, in a spiral of I won't even eat like a flipping slice of chocolate. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, how do I keep my weight down? It's probably not the healthiest weight growing up because um, I was quite obsessed with it, but as I've got older, I just eat what I want, when I want, but in moderation. That's my answer to it. It's just eat everything in moderation, is what I say. Are you engaged? Noticed a ring once, but wasn't sure about if it was your hand or your... F oh. I wasn't sure which hand or finger it was on. Yes, I actually do have an engagement ring. I don't know, it's not an engagement ring. <laughs> it's not an engagement ring, guys. It's a ring that my mum that I was given when I was like 13 and I just plonked it on that finger didn't think anything of it and then years on now I'm 22 and everyone's like oh you engaged Harriet congratulations or oh, congratulations Lou I'm like oh the poor guy no we're not engaged uh, it's just on that finger and like I don't know I just feel like it would be weird if I put it on the other finger now I mean it's just a bit tight on that thing I don't know if I'm gonna try it I don't know if I'm gonna look I've got a, I've got a fatter finger how weird is that fits that one no but i'm just gonna keep it on that finger like i just got to a point now in life i don't actually care i get people all the time at work like oh you should change it because it's bad luck you know like customers and that and i'm like well yeah maybe it could be bad luck but i'm keeping it on my engagement ring finger it's keeping all them boys away <laughs> do you miss living at home and not paying bills i don't miss living at home i love my mum and dad lots but i love the freedom i love living um not living at home um because you can do what you want when you want you don't have to tidy up when you're asked, you can just do it when you want to do it. And yeah, I, I, I love being moved out, but the bills are pretty rubbish, you know what I mean? It's like, I look back and think, hey, what did you spend your money on before you moved out? Like now half my wage goes on bills, electric, food, you know, heating. And I'm like, what did you spend your money on before you moved out? Like literally, I should have had like nearly 600 pounds more a month um, than what I do. You know what I mean? I should have like I should have been saving that. I don't know where I was spending. I actually do not know where I was spending that money because I don't know. I actually don't know where I was spending that money. I must have just been. I don't. I don't know. So yeah, my um, I do. <laughs> you do miss the money, but then in a way, I spent it on random rubbish anyway. So yeah, no. I love being at home. Love being moved out. And no, I definitely wouldn't want to be living back at home because once you've moved out, there's no going back, is there? You've got your independence now. Do you know what I mean? Um. Next question is, did you go to uni or straight into a job? No, I never went to uni. School was not for me. And when I hear people going to uni, I'm just, I'm happy for them going to uni. But like, I just wanted to get out of school, out of education, out of everything, get a job, earn money, and just learn from that. Like, I, I wasn't interested in uni. I'm not just seeing anyone that goes to uni, but I just was not interested in it. I'm not a party animal either. You know that thing of like going to uni and the partying and all that? That would be my worst nightmare. Like, I have never been, shock horror guys, I have never been to a club, ever. I, not into clubbing, all that stuff. I'm, I just, I'm not into it. I'm quite a quiet girl, I quite like sitting at home, my cup of tea, and then I like getting all glammed up, going for cocktails and dinner and all that sort of stuff. I'm not about um, 
the uni life or no. So I just got a job straight away and I got a job at the knitwear first. I said this on my last Q&A, but I'll just quickly tell you. I got a job at the Edinburgh Woolen Mill first, worked my way up to supervisor there. Um, and I was only like 17. I mean, that is quite impressive. And then I went over to the co-op because the knitwear wasn't that, it didn't pay that well and the hours were rubbish and all that. So then I got a job at the co-op, same thing there, worked my way up to supervisor and now I'm supervisor at the cooperative. I mean, it might not be everyone's dream job, but I'm pretty happy in life. So like you could have an amazing job and be super stressed out and not be happy. So I think happiness wins, you know, wins overall is what I'm saying. What are your plans for Christmas and New Year? Well, let me tell you, I am so flippin' excited, guys. How many days is it? I'm filming this on Wednesday, so it's like five days away. Happy, hey, that's a Christmas song. That's a birthday song. Um, I don't know. Snow is falling all around us. Children play. <laughs> I've got such a soft guy. Yeah, for Christmas, we are off to um, my mum and dad's for Christmas. I'm so excited. I've told Lou we're going around for eight o'clock in the morning to my mum and dad's. I'm packing a bag with my Christmas day clothes, my makeup and that, and taking it around with us. Because my little brother and sister are only six and ten, and like you can't like miss them opening their presents. Do you know what I mean? I mean, they probably will have opened it by eight o'clock, but I've told them, please save some before we get there at eight. And for New Year, we're going down to England to see my granny and granddad, my auntie, and all the family I'm in England. And I can't wait for that because we've not seen them at this time of year for like, ever. I mean, literally. We moved to Sky when we were eight. That's 14 years ago. I've not seen my granny and granddad and my auntie Joanne and all that at that time of year in like 14 years. I think that's about right. Yeah, so no, I'm, I'm really excited for Christmas and New Year. I just hope it doesn't snow and we can get down there in one piece. Any holidays planned for next year? Well, let me just tell you what I've got planned for next year. So we are actually, <coughs> we haven't got anything booked, but we have got a few things in the lineup. We're thinking Amsterdam in March. I've got five days off work in March. It was kind of like random. My boss came to me and she was like, hi, we've had to choose your holidays because you haven't chosen them. And I was like, oh, I didn't even realize I had any. So she gave me like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's like five days. And I was like, what, what can we do? Like, it's just a random time off to have. I don't want Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at home. Like, well, maybe I could have it at home. But I was like, Lou, should we go somewhere, book cheap flights and get a cheap hotel or something and just go exploring for five days? And he was like, yeah. I was like, really and he was like yeah let's just do it so um i looked online got some, there's some cheap flights to amsterdam at the moment we're gonna wait till january to book them maybe like the first week of january but we're thinking amsterdam and then for three nights and then a day at home after it to recover for going back to work the next day so yeah i think we're going to amsterdam in march and then i think we're going to do something in june for lou no in, in june for lou's 30th birthday oops it's gonna kill me for saying that and um we're gonna go abroad somewhere for that um so that's kind of two things in the pipeline but they'll all get booked in january <laughs> what do i do for work i missed it before when he said so i've already said so i work in the cooperative as a supervisor Right, that's the end of my Q&A, otherwise if I answered every question it would go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So thank you very much for watching guys, if you have just found my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you're here already click that thumbs up button because it means the absolute world to me. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the festivities and you're all having a lovely super chill time or if you're like me and you work in retail or you work in anywhere where everywhere is good everyone is going to buy all the Christmas goodies. I'm sending you a lot of love, a lot of hugs, and a lot of strength to get through to Christmas Eve because we're gonna need it. Yesterday was mad at work and it was a week to go to Christmas. So I was like, ah, stay away, we've still got seven days to go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you later, bye.